I'm David Sharp. I'm the head of products and services for Digital Haiti. Our own 4636 service was launched about two years ago and we've been providing hurricane updates, weather updates uh, via a service called Cyclone. So they send in a keyword, Cyclone, uh, 24636, and they're able to get up to, up to date uh, information on uh, specifically uh, hurricanes and large weather systems movements uh, around the island of Haiti. Over the last three years, we've taken on a number of projects to uh, uh, enhance uh, SMS penetration, uh, certain strategies in that area to educate the Haitian subscribers about SMS use. We're looking for the trial uh, that we're undergoing with Combi to prove for the NGO community in Port-au-Prince, where a majority of people are, are, are based and camped right now, uh, that this is actually a very effective way for them to learn the skills of, uh, of those that they're treating. We started with uh, MIT actually showing up uh, f with a request to talk to us about how they might uh, use technology and uh, uh, to get their project off the ground. Uh, we exchanged some concepts uh, overviews uh, and then uh, they went back and, uh, and developed uh, their platform and asked uh, you know, if we would be able to help out in a, in a, in a number of ways of, to get their service uh, through a trial and off the ground, uh, and of which we were very uh, uh, happy to participate in, uh, in this effort. Uh, a great application uh, that we've talked about is uh, bringing in a, a BlackBerry application that works in conjunction with, uh, with their, their platform so that subscribers, uh, NGOs in particular, who uh, in Haiti, uh, NGOs, most of them are using a Digicel BlackBerry service, uh, which includes unlimited data. So it's already included in their package and their price plan. So if they had another application where they were able to interview the potential uh, catalog customers, uh, they would be able to go straight in through their BlackBerry application, enter in the data, post it to the site, and uh, it would be probably a much easier process. People are going to be asked to move to places, new, new towns, uh, new, new places where construction will start, and, uh, and people are going to want to know, you know, how many plumbers do I have? You know, NGOs want to start new camps and they want to be able to bring in plumbers and electricians and, and have cash for work programs. So this, this information uh, will end up being invaluable. It would be very simple for an NGO to give us a message that was hidden under a key word. Uh, Red Cross uh, as an example and then that uh, subscriber hit Red Cross they might get back information about where the nearest Red Cross uh, or where the Red Cross Center is or how they can get information about Red Cross or something so it's a really good information push service. The one deficiency I will uh, say uh, is brought on by the NGOs is that there isn't the idea that there should be some central location where all of these successful projects uh, can go and be learned and, and shared by other groups. So uh, as an example, uh, long ago there was a, uh, a project that helps uh, uh, both fishermen and or grain and, and commodities uh, farmers uh, learn what the price on the market is of goods. It's because the guy who's driving the truck was actually getting most of the money, whereas the guy who was growing or catching the goods was getting a much smaller portion. Every, all the NGOs in the world should actually have that as a kind of product in, 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 in a suite of products that they deliver when they show up someplace. You know, they should have a lot of these different projects that have worked successfully. So, you know, I think that there needs to be a, a closer communications uh, inside that uh, those groups so that they can standardize on uh, different types of platforms and services and then the carriers would be uh, less reluctant to work uh, with somebody in a disaster situation because they would be bringing something that was clearly vetted and ready you know for service and understandable already. This particular uh, Combi project uh, Developing countries uh, and disaster situations are where I see this, the strengths of, of this platform, uh, where IDP camps are more likely to be. As part of the service, uh, we're allowing the uh, MIT group to uh, store their platform in our data center, uh, where they have 24-hour security, always uh, internet connections and voice lines, as well as support. Um, 
So if any other carriers wanted to be a part of this program, uh, they would be able to uh, deliver E1 connections uh, to our uh, Turjo facility and, and interconnect with that program. One or two more versions probably need to be uh, uh, undertaken to be able to incorporate uh, not just the Haitian uh, caller himself, but NGOs who are registering uh, agents uh, who may be able to be more, a little more prolific uh, in the registration process. So incorporating applications into their system to allow that as well, I think will uh, end up being where we, we finally result, uh, go to market.